NASA's Voyager 2 probe reached interstellar space nearly a year ago, becoming the second spacecraft to ever enter that region. Now, one year later, scientists have published the first results from the data Voyager 2 gathered as it passed out of the bubble of gases expanding from the Sun and into the wild of the Milky Way. The sister spacecraft Voyager 1 reached the edge of the solar system in 2012, but its broken plasma instrument made it hard for scientists to gather crucial data about the transition from our solar system into interstellar space. Now data from Voyager 2 show a 20-fold increase in the density of plasma. Researchers say the transition from our solar system to interstellar space may take less than a day to cross. The heliopause is the theoretical boundary at which the Sun's solar wind meets interstellar winds, which were caused by supernovae that have exploded millions of years ago. The Voyagers were launched within weeks of each other in 1977 with different trajectories through space. Yet, for both spacecraft, the plasma densities changed at similar distances from the Sun. This indicates that the heliopause doesn't change much between these two radically different parts of the sky. Unlike Voyager 1, the Voyager 2 spacecraft detected a continuous change to the direction of the magnetic fields as it crossed the heliopause. While both missions saw sudden increases in the number of high-energy cosmic rays, Voyager 2 continued to see low-energy particles from the Sun. These data are crucial for astronomers' understanding of space more generally. The researchers are now working on ways that can help them better understand the region of space outside the bubble-shaped boundary where solar particles still leak out of the heliosphere. <laughs>